Well, hi friends. So in this video, I'm going to try to make sure it's not super long, um, but I thought I would get ready for my day. I have lunch today with some friends and I have some errands to run. So I thought I would maybe tell you a story or two about little old me, let you guys get to know me a little bit. So it's going to be more like a chit chat slash get to know me slash get ready to with me video. So, um, Hope you guys like it and uh, yeah, here we go. Not really sure what I'm doing with this hair, but I think I've committed to this look now. So this is what I'm going to go with. Um, I think it's okay for the outside world, but I've been wrong before. So concealer, Kosas concealer. I'm just gonna put it under my eyes. A little bit here, a little bit here on the nose sometimes i do this around the nose on my chin if i'm feeling frisky and then i'm going to take a damn beauty blender and go to town so while i blend let's see what can i start with so my name my first name is christina um i am 38 years old i think i might have mentioned that in a, another video um my zodiac is aries my zodiac sign so for those of you that do like that kind of stuff or, and are into that i am sort of into that stuff i mean i don't think it's all true but there's certain things about it i, ju I just find really fun um so i'm an aries and my nationality is romanian so i was born in romania and my parents immigrated to canada uh, when i was i think nine or ten Okay, so continuing on, I'm going to do my brows now and I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil and this one is in taupe. Um, what else can I tell you guys? I don't have any siblings. I'm a lonely child. I know it's only child, but I like to say lonely child. Um, I've always wanted another sibling, but I guess my parents had me and they're like... <sighs> Ooh, that's enough for us no more so um yeah it's just me me myself and i um what else my uh my mom passed away when i was a teenager so when i was i think 13 yep when i was 13 my mom passed away um and i think that's where my anxiety started from later on in life because um, when I was um, in my mid-20s, I started getting really bad socialized anxiety, um, like generalized anxi anxiety, I guess, uh, to the point where there were a few years where I couldn't really go anywhere. Uh, I would just like go to work and come home and that was it. I didn't like being out because I started feeling really anxious and loopy and I just hated um, being in crowds. Um, but I went to therapy and I got some help and, uh, that really helped a lot. I still have anxiety. It's not something you can get rid of, but, um, I'm, I'm much better now. Like I, I can deal with it and handle it more. So that's been really good. But, um, I'm, I'm very grateful for my anxiety because it has really taught me to appreciate life a lot. Like I enjoy the little things so much now because, when I first got anxiety, I hated doing everything. And like, I hated going out. I hated even going to the grocery store. I hated anything like going with friends for dinner. It was just, I, it made me so anxious. So I just didn't like it. And once I, I got better and I was able to cope with this anxiety that I have, and I learned uh, cognitive behavior therapy and how to apply that to my everyday life to, to help me be more functional, I found that I enjoy things so much more now like the little things like hanging out with friends even going for lunch with friends and and being in the moment and just not being anxious or panicky or loopy or any of that so really love that it, it, it has taught me how to appreciate the little things in life I remember liking makeup from when I was really young I remember watching my mom put on her makeup all the time I used to love it and I used to pay so much attention and I was like I would be in awe of watching her put her makeup on and I remember when YouTube uh, came around and 
just watching people do makeup like watching makeup videos all day it was just it's so relaxing and i just loved watching and seeing how people create and being the people being artistic i found it really really fascinating and really interesting um and i've always loved makeup i didn't go to school for it obviously i mean the stuff i do is pretty basic um i remember doing my makeup for prom and i remember doing my best friend's makeup for prom and when i look back at pictures i'm like oh my god i can't believe like we actually left the house looking like that because it was like shiny silvery makeup with black liner oh, it was a lot i mean i think for the time it was really cute but um i like looking back at it now i'm like there's so many things i would have done better but i just enjoy playing with makeup i love watching people do makeup i love getting my makeup done i I just really enjoy makeup and as I was getting older I started getting into skincare a lot I didn't really care about skincare in my teens obviously well a lot of people don't like when you're a teenager you're a teenager you're like you think you're gonna be young forever at least I did but um, in my 20s I didn't really take care of my skin I didn't really wear sunblock I just didn't I moisturized and wash my face but sometimes I would I would sleep with makeup on not often but i would do it sometimes um so i didn't really think about skincare until like my late to early 30s that's when i really started getting into skincare and doing research and trying and doing facials and just trying to see like what works for my skin and what i can do to improve it um simply from a texture perspective i wasn't even thinking about like anti-aging stuff and i use anti-aging quotes because like i don't know i don't really think that's a thing um i think for me skincare is just trying to make your skin as good as you can possibly make it with products so i don't really look at it like oh i'm gonna like stop the aging process because that you can't really do that um you're gonna age and i think aging is good because it means you're still alive because if you stopped aging then you'd be dead so i'm totally fine with aging then I just really started looking into what works for my skin and what doesn't starting from cleansers to moisturizers to serums to all of that and the one thing that I found that works best for trying to maintain the health of your skin and your skin looking good it is sunblock I for me at least I find that the 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 less things I do to irritate or aggravate aggravate my skin words are hard um the better my skin will look and feel so i try not to fuss with it too much that's why my nighttime uh, skincare routine and my morning skincare routine are pretty simple i don't have a lot a lot of steps because i try to keep it as simple as possible now i'm gonna go in with some bronzer and this is the Too faced one and this is the chocolate soleil in medium deep i just really like it i think it smells like chocolate so that's delicious and i just like how pigmented it is and how easily it blends onto my skin uh, blush i went in with the sephora and this is the matte perfection blush duo in english rose it's so pigmented and it's so pretty and it lasts and just oh i love it so for my eyes i'm just gonna take the blush brush i used and the blush and i'm going to dip into this color here the lighter color and i'm just gonna literally just swipe it across my lid like that i just like the way this looks it's like super lazy way of just adding a bit of depth and color to the old peepers now i'm going to do lashes and of course going in with my eyelash primer as always the l'oreal voluminous honestly guys this is just as good as any of the high-end brands like i think there's one by dior there's one by lancome it literally can go up against any of those brands and it's just as good only for like a fraction of the price so i love this stuff i always 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 put it on before i put on my mascara because i think it just makes a really big difference and then i'll go in with mascara and for mascara we're going to use the maybelline the colossal curl bounce love this stuff it's so good this is like my everyday mascara it has a bit of a curve to the wand 
and it's just so good. I just love how it makes my lashes look. It separates really nicely. It's not clumpy at all. So, so good. So for lips, I'm going to use this um, Annabelle lip pencil in nude. It's like a brownie nude just to line my lips a little bit, very lightly. And I'm gonna go in with a bit of a bolder, um, what do you call it, lip gloss or matte lip, what is it? It's a cream a lip stain. So I just wanna quickly do a little bit of a line on the lips. See, nothing crazy, just light little line. Um, and then the color I'm using is this one. It's by Sephora and the color in this one is, oh my God, 25. It's just so pretty. Let me swatch it. Let me swatch it. Like, look at that. It's just a great color for fall. So I'm gonna start in the middle of my lips. I can do it in here. Just gonna clean up the edges real quick. And every time, every time I put on lipstick or lip gloss, I will take my finger like this and then it'll take off any excess if there's any so it doesn't get on my teeth. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for all your support. It really does mean so, so much. Um, so yeah, thank you. And I will see you guys next time.